Did you know that scientists just use tinned fish to study the ocean? So the story is one day a few scientists at the University of Washington get a call from the Seafood Products Association and they're like, hey, we're cleaning out our basement. Do you happen to want some of this expired canned salmon that we have? And when I say they had stacks of salmon, I mean they had like 42 years worth of salmon in their basement dating back to 1979. So then the scientists were like, oh, hmm. What if we look for parasites in the fish and we can see how that has changed over time, which can give us a clue as to how parasite levels are changing in marine mammals. And the reason this works is that these parasitic worms travel through marine food chains, starting from zooplankton and krill and small fish, which then get eaten by the salmon. So the worms use the salmon as an intermediary host before moving on to their definitive hosts in marine mammals. So these parasites can, you know, infect fish populations, they can destabilize whole ecosystems, they can even affect commercial fishing, but it's super, super, super hard to study the changes in parasite abundance in ecosystems, especially over a long period period of time. So the scientists were like, um, absolutely yes, give us the tin fish. So they opened up and dissected over 500 cans of salmon and they found them. They found 300 worms buried in tiny little pockets all over the muscle tissue of the salmon fillets. Also, I have to say that these worms are super common in all kinds of seafood and they're usually killed if the food is cooked properly, such as during the canning process. So you're totally fine to continue eating tin fish. Like it's totally it's so safe, it's so safe. So here's where things get really interesting. The scientists found the abundance of parasites increased in a few salmon species, but this is not necessarily a bad thing. It might actually point to a thriving ecosystem since, you know, if you have a lot of parasites, it means you have a lot of salmon to host them. The increase in parasites also coincided with the Marine Mammal Protection Act, which came into effect in 1972. And so, you know, as marine mammals increased, so did their parasites. It's like this domino effect of conservation success. It's just mind blowing to me how they use such an ordinary object like tinned fish to uncover such important insights into our marine ecosystems. Who knew that a can of fish held the key to understanding the health of our oceans?